How's it going? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make procedural leather. Um, it's very, very simple. So let's get right into doing that. So let's go ahead and open up Blender 2.81. Uh, before we get into that, I'm going to be showing you how to make one shader, but I made a pack of seven unique leather shaders. You can go grab that in the description. Everybody on Patreon, you will be getting that for free. Uh, but yeah, you can go get that linked in the description. So let's so go on and... Uh, get an icosphere you can do this on any model because this is procedural you can just throw whatever shader on whatever model you want so we're just going to go with a basic sphere now let's go hop on over to shading and start making this so let's click new and we have this guy i'm going to start out with the more dark color just so i can actually see what's happening in the bump but uh yeah we're going to be working with that so let's go ahead and start in a bump node right here and plug the bump right here into the normal and let's go ahead and get a voronoi now let's change F1 to smooth F1 and smoothness all the way to zero. Now let's take this right here and duplicate it and then get our smoothest at 0.2 and then do that right there. Now let's put position into vector and then right here in this last one, hit control T, which gives us a texture setup and put object into the vector. All right, so now that we have this bump, we'll be plugging distance into the height in just a minute, but let's go ahead and color this. So we'll go into a color ramp and let's get a light more on the uh, khaki end of things right here. Now let's pl click new, bring this guy right about here and make him pretty dark brown. Let's bring it down and then bring it more in the brown section. And let's take this guy, make him a bit darker as well. And then let's take this right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the hex, copy the hex number right over here and I'm gonna paste it so that we stay in that same sort of color family and then take it and bring it really far down. And then I'm going to take it and bring it there. So this is going to be what we're going to do. Now let's take the Voronoi texture, plug that there, and plug the color into the base color. And so now we have this. Now we're just going to go ahead and play with this a little bit till we get around what we're looking for. All right, so now we have this color. Um, but right now, you can see on these lines, they're just a little too straight for actual leather. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here to the texture coordinate, and we're going to go, and we're going to get a noise texture. And we're going to plug the noise texture right into here. Now, if you go back to the material preview, you're going to see everything goes berserk. You can see all these just weird little lines, and it's not what we want. We need to put in a node that tells us how much of this noise texture to actually implement into the uh, look. So we're going to go into a mix RGB, plug it right into there. Now let's take this object coordinate and plug it right here into color 2. Now on the noise detail, put it at 16 and put your scale at about 10 and then bring the factor all the way over. So now you see those lines again. Now bring the factor over just a tad bit here on the slider, and you can see it to start affecting our uh, color. And the way it looks now, it's all jaggedy edged, just like you would see in leather. On the scale of these two guys, let's bring it up to say 20, and the scale on this one, 20 as well. All right, now for this part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a color ramp just to make sure that we can mess with the uh, actual look once we actually put it into the bump. So we're about to make this more bumpy looking because right now it looks really, really fake. So let's take this, this distance right here on the Voronoi, plug that into the color ramp, which drives into the height of this bump. Now we have this, let's take this strength slider and just bring it down to right about there. And then as you can see, it's inverted. The color's inverted. Now it just sort of looks like weird worm lines. All you have to do is invert the bump and that corrects that. And so here you go, now you have leather. The last thing we're gonna do to, to add just a little bit more realism. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do to add some realism is me mess with the uh, roughness. So I'm gonna add in another color ramp, bring that there. I'm gonna unattach the height, just because this makes my computer run super slow. And I'm gonna add in a noise texture right here, and then we'll take the um, vector over here and run that into the noise texture as well from this mapping node. Now, let's take this noise texture, plug it into the factor, and plug this into the roughness. Now, when we press uh, material preview, you'll start to see it messing with the roughness of our overall material. So now you can see in the light, you can see it start messing with the roughness, which is what you see with sort of weathered used leather. Now let's go ahead and bring this color back into the height, and we're gonna have a nice leather material for you to use. So there it is. You have a nice ball of leather that you can mess with and use with really anything you want, have a lot of fun with, do some uh, 
clothing or shoes or whatever you'd like. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you want to go get some more unique leather shaders, you can go and grab seven of those in the description. And thanks for watching.